Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. This prophetic word says, God is about to make you rich. He has been testing you for a reason. God is not playing with you. I say it again. This prophetic word says, God is about to make you rich. He has been testing you for a reason. God is not playing with you. Can we pray, please? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you. We exalt your holy name. We magnify your name, Jesus. We give you all the praise, Lord, and we give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you for the opportunity to receive your word. Thank you, Lord. Let your will be done in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name. Of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. You've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the good Lord rewards your consistency, blesses you as never before, uplifts you powerfully and mightily in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. God wants to bless somebody. God wants to uplift somebody. God wants to transform the life of somebody. God wants to change the life of somebody. And that particular person looks like you. I said, that particular person looks like you. Say, I look like the person God wants to bless. Say to yourself, say to yourself, I look like the person God wants to bless. Say it again. I look like the person God wants to bless in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, let me tell you something about the blessings of God. God will bless you when his time of blessings comes for you. No matter how much pressure you get into, no matter how much work you tend to put yourself into, no matter how you want to press on God to bless you, when the right time comes for him to bless you the way he wants to bless you, honey, he's definitely going to bless you. I've seen a lot of people who poach themselves and say, I really want a blessings now. I really want this now. Why is my life like this? And I talk to them. I tell them, the reason your life is like this is because your time of blessings has not yet come. I have two categories of people that I'm so remarkable about, two ladies. The first lady, she was believing God for heavy financial open doors in her life. And then God told me to tell her, God said, tell her, I'm going to give her money, but I'm not going to give her money now, like the big and the huge money she wants, but I'm going to make sure that I provide for her. I give her her daily bread. That was what God said. He's going to make sure that he gives her what she's supposed to eat, what she's supposed to clothe, take care of herself. But the amount of money she wants, like a large amount or use some of money, she cannot have it. That was what the Lord said. God is wonderful. And that particular lady tried all what she could do at that point in time. Nothing was happening. Nothing financially was working well for her. She will beg money from people. The people are going to promise her, okay, I'm going to send you money like this, like that on this particular day. And nobody sends her the money. She was always disappointed. And the people would always not give her the money. Why? God already told her, this is not the time, but your time is going to come. When her time of blessings come, she started having a lot of open doors. 
people she least expected could help her financially, helped her, gave her money. A lot went good in her life. And then she noticed when it's God's time, it's definitely God's time. The second lady also wanted to get married. And then she brought people to me. I kept telling her, this is not your husband. She was so mad. When does God want her to get married? Age is catching up with her and all that. You know, even when she tries to be disobedient, God will still bring her back on track. All those times she kept being faithful, going to church, praying, working for God and all that. All this time was the testing and the trying moment in her life. Sometimes you might fall in a temptation to marry who is not for you out of desperacy. People would always come, but the test is do you accept who is not in line with God's will for you or do you wait for God to give you who is for you? That is the test. I say it again. That is the test. The test is, do you accept a financial opportunity that is not in line with the will of God for you? Or do you wait for God's time to bless you financially? Child, wives, everything about life, business, career. Do you go into what you know this is not in line with God's will? Or do you wait on God's will? That is the test. That is the question. When you keep waiting, when the Lord wants to bless you, he will make sure that he blesses you differently. All this time has been a test in your life. And God is about to bless you. He's about to make you rich. He's about to bring overflow into your life. I pray for you right now. As you believe and as you connect yourself to this prophetic word, I decree and I declare, this is your season of blessing. This is your season of increase. Let it manifest in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it manifest in your life. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please if this has been of great blessings to you. I will beg on you that you please pray for me. Call my name. Pray for me as the spirit of the Lord will lead you. Please do not forget to pray for me. Also, please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to this amazing channel. Let's become friends and become partners and become families. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.